Ladies and gentlemen, the first match on tonight's video is the big Canadian Joe LeDuc versus Carlos Colon in a barbed wire match, Hugo Sovinovich. <laughs> and even though Joe LeDuc is the strongest man in the ring right now, an experience in this battle has to be in Carlos Colon. Many, many matches uh, with the ring surrounded with barbed wire. Well, yeah, you know, Carlos Colon was born in Puerto Rico and a lot of things down there are surrounded by barbed wire, you know. See, Bobby, we just started and already you're getting into the racial aspects and this is wrestling. We do not have to talk about those things and second of all, that's not true. Well, it is true, you know, born in the barbed wire. No, that barbed wire has done that man's back. See, that barbed wire is cutting and tearing Yeah, we, but we have thin. to question also Jolly Duke. He's stronger, but yet he's protecting his hands, tape. Well, Joe LaDuc's got bad wrists. Oh, okay. A man is able to pull buses, and he's got bad wrists. Yeah, bad wrists. Okay. Now, see, he just walked over there and grabbed that barbed wire. You saw what happened to him. I'll tell you something. You know, Carlos Colon, i got to give him credit where credit's due. He knows where that barbed wire belongs, and it don't belong on him. When this match took place uh, at the time, Joe LaDuc was the North American heavyweight champion, and he had had tremendous battles with Carlos Colon, and obviously, Cologne wanted to get this man in the ring so nobody else would interfere, and this was the only way that he could get him. That's right. You know, barbed wire matches are made so people can't come in the ring, and people can't get Oh, look at the Duke's head now. It's busted wide open. That barbed wire, like we said before, is just razor sharp, brother. A lot of scars in uh, Carlos' body. And I'll tell you something. Right now, he's got his face right on that barbed wire on that bottom rope. And he's just running it. See that, ladies and gentlemen? He's just running that, that barbed wire right into his head. Bobby, I know you have been involved in some tough matches. Have you ever been in a barbed wire match? I've been in a few of them, Hugo Savinovich. Have you won a few? I've won or a lost few. a few. I've never lost a match, Hugo Savinovich. Okay, what's the difference between a regular match and when you know you're surrounded by barbed wire? Does that affect uh, in any way? Uh, sure, it affects your strategy. You know, you can't use the ropes like you could for leverage. Do you have it in your mind at all times that... Uh, if you make a mistake, you could cut your neck out or something like That's that? That's right. You, you know it all the time. You, your body's so vulnerable to the ropes that you try to stay away from the ropes. Like Joe LaDuke right there, just he knows that he's got to get Carlos Colon down and start running his head dead, Bob Wire, because as hard and as bad as his head's busted open, it's not going to be too much longer, and he's going to lose a lot of energy and a lot of stamina. Well, in fast Eddie, Eddie Grice has uh, advised us to warn all the viewers right now that during this video, you are gonna watch some of the most roughest and bloodiest matches. So get ready for it because some of the action, it's gonna be rough. That's right, brother. The bloodier, the bloody the matches. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be something. In other words, if, if, fans if you have in mind to eat a sandwich, this is not the right time for it. No, I wouldn't go out and have me a big old greasy hamburger or nothing, you know what I mean? Joe LeDuc now. Now, LeDuc's got the barbed wire, and he's definitely digging it right into Cologne's head now, see? So, turn about fair play here, you know what I mean? Carlos trying to protect himself, but LeDuc using all that strength well, and the... What Cologne's trying to do is grab that hand and grab that barbed wire and grab it on the rope so it can't be raked across his face. But as you see... He was cutting his, was his hands. Sure By protecting his himself, hand. he was still injuring his hands. Now, look, LeDuc knows what to do. He puts it in his mouth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Now, see, the Duke knows what to do with barbed wire, you know? He's one of these guys that probably ties up his girlfriend with barbed wire, you know what I mean? I won't doubt it. I won't doubt it. The Duke don't look like he's too happy right now. Anyhow, he's got busted open. He's trying to rip Carlone's mouth out of here. If you look, see, the barbed wire is right in his mouth. In this type of matches, everything goes. There's no disqualification. The referee cannot stop the match till there's a winner. That's right. And, you know, that's just like the referee being in there handcuffed and handcuffed to a rope where he can't do nothing about it. See, there's the advantage to Joe Lee Duke. He's got that... Uh, uh, those tapes on his hands, and he don't have to worry about cutting his hands there. That's right. Like I said before, he had bad wrists. Carlos calling a lot of trouble. The wire cutting the edges of his mouth right now. Oh, I imagine, I imagine Carlos Colon right now is trying to think of some way he can get away from that bob wire, get away from Joe LaDuke. Now, LaDuke, I don't know why LaDuke did this. He should not have let that man away from that bob wire. That bob wire in his mouth was hurting that man. This match taking place at Heron Bithern Stadium, right at the capital of Puerto Rico, San Juan. Carlos in a lot of trouble, and LeDuc looking stronger. Well, LeDuc's one of these guys, Hugo, that when he gets hurt, he gets stronger. He gets that animal instinct in him coming out. Look, at now he's tearing that into the shoulder of Carlos Colon, ripping the skin all over the body of Carlos Colon with that bob wire. You see right there on Joe LeDuc's arm, on his right arm, where he's been cut by the bob wire on that arm also. 
Carlos screaming in pain, and the soundtrack you're listening to is a Spanish original soundtrack. We apologize that to our English-speaking viewers, but uh, Eddie Gray is always trying to bring you the best of professional wrestling, has rescued some of his tremendous matches for this exciting video tape. That's right. You know, Fast Eddie, E.G., brother, you know what he does, don't you? He runs a lot. <laughs> oh, there's a big lumberjack boot right in the head of Carlos Colon. If the Bob wire won't bust him open, Joe LaDuke's boots will, I'll guarantee you that. And besides, he's got those heavy, powerful legs. That's right, he's a big man. I think Carlos Colon is probably wishing right now that there wasn't Bob wow. wire on those ropes so he'd get the heck out of there and get out of Dodge, or excuse me, San Juan. Joe LaDuke doing some serious damage to the forehead of Carlos Colon. Referee is Thomas Marin. And like we said before, we are at the Huron Veteran Stadium in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where the wrestling fans are suffering right now as their idol is in some serious trouble. Boy, I'll tell you, take a look at Carlos Colon right there. He's spitting up blood where his mouth, oh. where his mouth has been cut open by the barbed wire. He's definitely hurt. Joe the Duke's trying to put it on his throat. As you can see, Colon's barely keeping that off his throat right there. Remember one thing, the World Wrestling Council brings you the best of professional wrestlers, baby. And you know when you wrestle in the World Wrestling Council, you could expect the toughest competition and some of the toughest men are involved here in the World Wrestling Council. That's right. That's, why, like that's why Jolie the best Duke, wrestlers Carlos are Carl, here, baby. Abdul the Butcher and some of the other names you will see in this videotape. And I'll tell you something. You'll see just a little bit of everybody here, baby. But I'll tell you something right now. Carlos Colon, Joe LaDuke, for the last 10, 15 minutes have just gone at it brutally, brutally in this barbed wire match. LaDuke pushing the body of Colon forward into the wire, and the referee rip barely can do anything here because he's there for one purpose only. Is it to make sure that the man's shoulders are pinned for the count of three, or if one of them surrenders? That's right. And right there's a low blow by Carlos Colon. If you can't get a man off you one way, get him off you the other way, right? And he's doing that, and things were not looking too good for him, and now he's got LaDuke on the mat. That's right. And you know, Carlos Colon right there, has, is there that Latin temper of his, but you notice he's kicking a man in the knee. And the reason for this, ladies and gentlemen, is Carlos Colon probably has the most devastating figure four leg lock of any professional wrestler in professional wrestling. Now Carlos Colon is just continually stomping Joe LaDuke in the head, in the ribs, in the arms, just anything to keep this man off balance. And not too many people could say they could do this to the lumberjack man, Joe LaDuke. He is a powerhouse, and right now, Carlos, connecting some powerful shots, headbutt. And you know something? Uh, when he learned this, uh, headbutts was in uh, some tremendous competition with Abdullah the Butcher. He learned his headbutt techniques because Abdullah uses that so well to his advantage. That's right. And you take a look right now. Look at Joe LaDuke. His arms are cut open. And I'll tell you something, his head's busted open, and Carlos Colon just keeps knocking him into that barbed wire. And every time he goes to that barbed wire, there's a little bit more of his body. He's leaving a piece on that wire. Carlos, following some good shots to the face of Joe Ledoux, he throws him in against oh. the wires. Whoa! He, I think he felt more the wires on the punch of the I, belly. I think so, too. Now, here he goes. Carlos Colon going for his patented figure four leg lock. He's a master at that, Bobby. He is. He's one of the greatest. And also, later on in this video, we'll also see another great master of the figure four in Hercules Ayala. Yeah, they, it's been said that Carlos Colon, Hercules Ayala, and Nature Boy Ric Flair are three of the men that have the most powerful figure four leg lock in professional wrestling. That's today. right. And I can, vouch, I can vouch for two of those men, Ric Flair, Hercules Ayala, and Carlos Colon. Okay, now LaDuke, he's not uh, giving up here, the referee. Oh, here he, is. he just gave up. Carlos Colon is the winner in this, the first of the bloody and bloody matches. Joe LaDuke, a bloody man. Carlos Colon victorious, but he's after injuring Joe LaDuke. There is your winner, Carlos Colon, but I don't think he's just looking for a victory. He wants to destroy LaDuke. Oh, he wants to break his leg, that's for sure, Lucevich. Joe LaDuke has put him through nothing but pressure, uh, torture and pain tonight. He took him and put him right into that wire. His mouth's busted open. His head's busted open. Press pieces of his body are laying all over that barbed wire. I'm sure Carlos Colon would like nothing better than to break his leg. Carlos Colon has succeeded defeating Joe LaDuke. But I think right now he wants this man out of professional wrestling. And you see right there, look at Joe LaDuke. He's... He's in torment and pain. His head's busted open. He's a bloody mess. 
And right there, Mateo, the referee, raising the hand of Carlos Colon, the winner in this match on the first video. Joe LeDuc in agony and pain. Victorious Carlos Colon, bloody. A lot of more scars on his body. Defeated in the mat, Joe LeDuc. And fans, this is the bloody, bloody, bloody matches tape. And we're going to take you to another exciting match, our second match.